Quizalyze, the easy way to differentiate your teaching. With Quizalyze, you can quiz your students on the skills and standards they need to know, using devices in classroom team games or at home, and analyze the results in a choice of clear use. of the academic skills and standards in your curriculum. The dashboard enables you to benchmark your students against state averages and helps you ensure that nobody gets left behind. Students' test scores have improved 8 to 10 points from last year's scores. This is the first time that we've seen an increase of this magnitude. It's opened up that, that conversation between myself and my students. My kids pay attention to the test questions so much more. I have kids that even come before school because they just want to practice with me. I can meet with them one-on-one -on -one or I can meet with them in a small group and for the first time they're getting the attention that they really need and the data is there instantly. Play a quiz in class today. There are no apps to install. It's easy and it's free.
Good afternoon po sa inyong lahat. Magandang magandang tanghali po. Ayan, sana po ay safe kayong lahat. Uh, lalo na po ngayon na ECQ na naman po tayo. Uh, Siyempre dahil nga po sa COVID-19 at sa Delta variant. So, doble ingat pa rin po. At syempre, sundin pa rin po natin yung mga healthy protocols. By the way, my name is Marites Gorospe. Ako po ang Junior Customer Success Executive ng ZQ at Tech Ed Solutions. Together with Miss Maricarla Dines, our Senior Customer Success Executive. Hello, Miss Maricar. Good afternoon. Hello, Miss Marites. Good afternoon. So, magandang hapon po sa lahat at na mga, sa mga viewers natin dyan sa atin sa Facebook page and then sa ating YouTube. Maganda-magandang hapon po. So, dito naman, Miss Marites, sa, sa lugar namin, medyo okay naman ngayon. Kahit talagang naka-ECQ tayo <laughs> na dito lalo na sa bataan. Pero sa ating po mga nanonood, syempre kailangan pa rin natin sundin yung mga health protocols. Ayun. Eh, dyan naman, Miss Marites, kamusta naman dyan sa lugar nyo? Ayan, so dito nga po, sadly, sa aming lugar, medyo uh, tumaas na po ulit yung case. Kaya talagang strictly uh, nasa bahay and kailangan sumunod tayo sa mga protocols ng ating municipality para na rin sa atin pong lahat. Ayan, so welcome po sa ating introductory session for our day one webinar session in which you will learn the easiest way to differentiate your kind of teaching towards innovation. And this is in partnership with our inspiring educators here in the Philippines po. And ito po yung series, ang ating day one. This is uh, starting today po from August 14 until uh, September 4, 2021. Ito po ay every Saturday, 3 to 5 p.m. po. Ayan, this event aims to inspire a creativity and innovation to nurture success amidst the challenges of education. Ayan, Miss Maricar, dahil nga uh, pandemic tayo ngayon, syempre, uh, hindi naman matatapos doon ang ating pag-alalay sa ating mga mahal na mag-aaral. Kaya kailangan um, sa advancement of technology, ay tayong mga guro ay nakakasabay pa rin. Ayan. Yes, tama ka dyan, Miss Marites. Despite na nangyayari sa atin, continuous pa rin yung education and then lalo na ngayon is the distance learning talaga. Yes. Okay? Miss, uh, don't forget po sa atin, sa mga nasa live, don't forget to share, to like and share this live po with the hashtag po natin. Huwag pong kalimutan natin yung ating hashtag na tandaan po natin. Ito yung hashtag tip talks for teachers webinar series. So yan po yung lalagay nating hashtag when we share our live and then ang ating pong hashtag na eto ZQ tip stop yes. Opo. Don't forget to share po and then the Facebook page po namin. Huwag niyo din po kalimutan na i-like. Ito po, i-like our Facebook page or follow and then the YouTube which is ZQ at Tech Eats. Nandiyan din po yung aming mga post niyan, mga events para maging updated din po kayo. Don't forget to like and follow para sa mga madami pa po kaming mga events na darating pa at mas exciting. Yes, Miss Marites. Ayan. Uh, so, ready na po ba kayo? Mag-shoutout muna tayo, Miss Maricar. Ayan, sobrang dami okay, na po nanonood sa atin live. Ayan, don't forget to share nga po our live use, using our official hashtag. Yes po, yung ating hashtag, Z ZQ Tip Talks. And then the Tip tip Talks for Teachers webinar series. Yes. Tip Nasa Talks for Teachers webinar series. Yes. Medyo mahaba po, ano, ayan. Oh yes, Miss Marites. Nasaan din po siya? Nasa naka-post din sa ating Facebook page. Sa ating yeah. ZQ at Tech Eats. So, eto na Miss Marites, ang ating mga uh, la, ito mga ating mga naka mga viewers. So, shout out lang tayo. Saan ba yan? So, hello po, good afternoon po sa lahat ng mga nandito po sa atin sa na mga nak viewers natin sa Facebook and then the YouTube. So, dami na. Ito na mga nagko-comment na sila sa YouTube and then sa Facebook. Ayan. Good afternoon po. Tama ba ito? From... Yes. Maari po ba? Uh, just comment lang po sa ating comment section kung anong uh, school po kayo. Ayan, para uh, babasa po namin. Hello, good afternoon. Yes, good afternoon. Don't forget din po. Na Ayan, from... Yes. 
Sir Romel Zafra, good afternoon everyone is streaming from Kalbayog City Summer. Hello po, magandang hapon. Yes, opo. Don't forget po to share yung ating pong live ha. Meron po tayong mga exciting para mamaya. Magagamit po natin yan lalo na may i-announce po kami. Lalo na for the raffle draw. Huwag po niyo po nga may explain po namin. Don't forget yes. to share po yung ating live and the use the hashtag po. Yung hashtag natin is yung ating pinakatitle, hashtag TikToks Teachers for Webinar Series and then hashtag ZQ TikToks po. So don't forget to share para po mamaya malaman natin yung pinaka-exciting na ibibigay natin. Yes. Uh, mayroon po tayong mga prizes. Exciting po. prizes na naghihintay po para sa inyo. <laughs> yes. Ang dami na mga naka-view naka na para sa atin. So, good afternoon po. Ayan, from ano to, Market de la Cruz. Ayan, good afternoon po from Antonio Regidor Elementary School, Manila. Magandang hapon po sa mga nandyan sa atin sa uh, Antonio Regidor ES. Ito din, good afternoon. From Facebook ba to? Tama, Facebook. Good afternoon. Watching at home, a teacher from West Central School, Santa Maria District. SDO Pangasinan. So, yes, hello. Ay, hello po. Wow, from Pangasinan. Sana makarating kami sa susunod dyan. <laughs> yes, kaya nga kaya sana nga po uh, matapos na itong uh, pandemic para uh, maka ano na rin tayo, makapagpasyal uh, sa ating mga mga relatives. And since ito nga lang din po ang way natin, pinaka-safest way para po uh, makapagbigay pa rin ng dagdag kaalaman sa si ating mga, mga guro since a uh, pandemic nga po today. Yes, and yes, Miss Maricar, uh, before we start the session lang po, uh, konting reminders lang. So, uh, paalala lang po namin na until uh, hanggang ngayon po ay uh, open pa rin naman po ang ating uh, registration. But uh, let me, let us remind you lang po na Answering a registration is not a guarantee that you will be able to receive an e-certificate unless you completed po the requirements. Uh, kailangan po ay officially registered po kayo. And you must attend this session nga po, ang ating day one for our webinar series. And syempre po, uh, mamaya rin po kasi, um, meron kayong people up na feedback form. So dapat po yun ay kompleto para po kayo ay makareceive ng ating e-certificate. At kabilang na nga po doon sa mga requirements na yan, Ms. Maricar. Ay, for example po, yes, yung number one is, di ba po ang nakita nyo sa registration or dun sa Google form na pinilapan nyo po is nakalagay doon, Create your free account dun po sa www.quizalize.com. So, dapat po yun ay nasunod po or nagawa nyo po ng maayos. So, yun po yung number one. So, number two naman natin, Miss Maricar, is yung uh, nakalike din po kayo sa aming uh, Facebook page, which which is yung ZQ Etic It's po na Facebook page namin. At syempre po, for our number three, kailangan po ay na-share nyo rin po ang ating webinar uh, information. And number four po is kailangan nakasubscribe kayo sa aming uh, YouTube channel, which is the ZQ Etic It's. Yes. So, yung po yung ating mga reminders po, lalo sa registration. Pwede pa po sa mga hindi pa po nakakapag-register. So, ito po nakapost yung ating registration link. Punta lang po kayo dyan and do the requirements po sa ating registration tulad po na nabanggit ni Miss Marites. Masunod po natin lahat yun ng mga requirements. Okay po, para lang din po sa ating certification. So, yun po nabanggit na rin ni Miss Marites lahat ng mga kailangang gawin. So, click, uh, gawin po natin, puntahan lang po natin yung ating mga uh, link na to at makapag-register po tayong lahat. Lalo na po sa mga bago at ngayon lang din nakapasok about po dito sa ating Tip Talks for Teachers Webinar Series po. So, puntahan lang po natin tong link. Pinopost lang na po namin yan para at least uh, mapuntahan nyo. Okay po. Thank you so much po sa lahat ng mga viewers. So, Good afternoon po sa lahat sa mga bagong pasok at papasok pa. Let's invite other teachers para po dito sa ating Tip Talks for Teachers Webinar Series. And then, para naman po mas ma-share din natin ano naman yung matututunan din natin dito sa ating webinar series. Yun nga po, sabi ko, don't forget to share this live. And then, use the hashtag. <laughs> Yes, dahil nga, bakit nga ba kailangan i-share ang ating official hashtag? 
hashtag dahil nga po ah uh, within this entire uh, webinar series po ay makakaroon tayo ng raffle ayan at syempre po yes. pag may raffle may premyo <laughs> di ba Miss Maricar yes. Oo, so, Miss Maricar hindi mo mawawala 'yon Paano nga ba itong uh, raffle na sinasabi natin for the mechanics Miss Maricar Yes syempre dito sa ating raffle draw First, dapat po, ito yung una din na sinasabi din kayo ni Ms. Martes na official registered po kayo dito sa ating webinar. Ito po ating yung for this day. Kaya binigay na rin po namin yung link para at least ngayon po yung iba na hindi pa nakapag-register, mag-register na. So, dapat yes, po is... Yes, pa po. Oh, yes, tama po. Official registered po kayo. Okay po? So, yun po yung pinakauna natin. And then next po. Yan. So, dapat po is sumagot or sasagot po tayo dun sa ating feedback form na bibigay po mamaya. Okay po. Dapat po is nasagot po natin yon So, yun po yung pangalawa. Dapat po is, yung dalawa po is una is dire, naka official registered. Yeah. Next po is nakapagsagot ng ating feedback form. Yeah. Yung pangalawa. And then pangatlo po, ito yung kanina. Kaya sinasabi ko dapat is i-share nyo yung live and then Ang uh, gamitin po natin yung hashtag. Ayun po. Ito yung pangatlo po is share yung live. Share po natin yung live gamit yung ating dalawang hashtag. Uh, and then ilagay po natin doon sa pag-share din natin kung ano yung pinaka best part o yung dito po sa ating webinar series talaga yung na, natutunan niyo or nagustuhan niyo po. Ilagay po natin doon sa ating share. Opo. Lagay po natin po. Doon. Uh, add ko lang, Ms. Maricar, dapat po naka-public yung settings po ng yes, inyong uh, pag-share. And kailangan nyo din po kasi uh, may screenshot yon na, yes. na katunayan na nakapag-follow kayo ng ating mechanics. Yes, tama dyan, Ms. Marites. So, yun lang po yung masusunod natin para lang po makapasok tayo dito sa ating raffle draw. So, ito po raffle draw, meron po itong prize. Siyempre, di mawawala. Siyempre, yes. <laughs> Ah, yun po is load or Ayan, cash. Ayan, excited na po ba? Ayan. Through Gcash. Ayan. So, meron po tayong sampo na kukunin po dito for the raffle draw. Okay po. And ang mananalo po dito ay magkakaroon ng 200 pesos. Umas na ginting na. Ayan. Diba? Nagano ka na pero may yes, 200. Mamaya, mamaya, abangan nyo po. Ayan. So, uh, Miss Maricar, syempre din po, akong naalala nyo po nung sumagot po kayo na ating registration form, nandun din po yung aming mga ongoing events or nandun po sa newsletter. For example po, ito, uh, pwede, pwede po kayong uh, sumali dito. Basta po, uh, ang mechanics lang naman po dito ay kayo ay isang Quizalize user at nakapag-create nga po kayo ng inyong free account sa www.quizalize.com. So, number one na po dyan ang Be the Next Quizalizer of the Month. Syempre, ang mapipili po dyan ay makaka-receive ng e-certification. Ano pa nga ba, Miss Maricar, ang ating mga events? Nakaabang-abang talaga. Yes, Miss Marites. Tama. Ito yung kanina yung binanggit yes. mo. Be the next uh, quizalizer of the month. Ito, nakapost din po to sa ating mga sa ating pages. Kaya ang maganda po is just like and follow our page. Then, ito po, be the next quizalizer of the month. Ito po na okay. nabanggit ni Yes. Miss Marites. And then next po natin, meron pa tayong abangan ng mga events po. Ito po yung um, yung Use It, Win It. Ayan po yung Use It, Win It. Uh, raffle Draw. Monthly po ito. Monthly Raffle Draw. Sige, pakita ko din po sa inyo. Ito, ayan po. So, ito po is the Use It, Win It, Quizalize Monthly Raffle Draw. So, tama po. Monthly po ito. <laughs> so, this yes. Win It po yan is Win up to 10,000 wow! worth of cash prizes and giveaways. So, yung po yung pamamigay natin and this is monthly po. So, yun lang na po ang mechanics po. Create a Quizalize account. Kung wala po pa po kayong Quizalize account, create lang. Tulad na nabanggit po kayo, Ms. Marites, doon lang po sa www.quizalize.com. Okay po. Then, second is create one or more classes. Yun lang po yung gagawin natin. And then, assign and play quizzes with those classes. And then, announcement of winners is every last Saturday of the month. So, get one entry for every five quizzes played yes. in the last month. So, yun po yung sa atin sa Use It, Win It, Quizalize, Monthly Raffle Draw. So, yun lang yes. po yung mga kailangan natin. So, hopefully, makasali po tayo dyan sa ating uh, mga events. And then, meron pa, Miss Marites, 
At syempre, ang pinaka-espesyal po ng ating Second Nationwide Guizalites B Virtual Battle of Knowledge next year na po yan. So, ayan po ang isa din sa kaabang-abang na uh, events ng uh, natin. Siyempre, uh, pwedeng-pwede po kayong sumali dyan. Basta nga po, mapamiliarize nyo lang po kayo or maging isa po kayong Quizalize user ay ready-ready na or pwedeng-pwede na po kayong sumali sa ating Quizalize B next year po yan. Yes, opo. So, hopefully makasali po kayo sa ating mga events, sa ating Quizalizer of the Month. Ayan, and then the Use It, Use win, it, it win It yes. monthly raffle draw. So, maganda po, uh, maraming entry, mas maganda. So, for ating raffle, uh, raffle din po yon. So, mas madaming uh, quizzes, maraming, the more, the much, uh, tawag daw, the entry. The more much chances better, of you know, winning. Yeah. Yeah. More yeah. chances of winning. So, nagkakamali-mali pa yung mga gamay. <laughs> ayan, so, ayan po ulit. So, ayan yung registration link. Humabol na po kayo dahil nga po, exciting ang ating raffle draw mamaya. At hopefully po, natandaan po ang mechanics. Yes. Don't forget yung ating po mga mechanics. And then, don't forget din to share this live. And then we use the hashtag po natin. Yes, Miss Marites. Ayan, so dumami, mas parami pa ng parami ang ating mga viewers. So talagang uh, this afternoon po kasi ay talagang may mas matututunan kayo or uh, you can learn something new kung paano nga ba maging creative pa at uh, to differentiate uh, your kind of teaching since nga po this pandemic. So we are here to learn and uh, To, to, para matut, para ma, matulungan po kayong matutunan or mag-guide kayo kung saan nga po ah, matu, mas ma-advance pa natin ang ating kakayahan para sa ating mga mag-aaral. Yes, Ms. Marites. So, na, parami ng parami na ng ating viewers. Yung iba po, yung mga ka-department or iba pa nyo pong kasama teachers, please uh, invite na lang din po natin for this live din natin. And then, ma-share din natin yung ano, yung ating pwedeng matutunan din po dito sa ating webinar series or the tip talks. So, tip talks talaga. So, it's a webinar series, may iba't ibang series po and this is the first uh, day po natin for the tip talks for teachers webinar series. So, magandang hapon po sa lahat. Ito po nakaview na rin yung ating hashtag ZQ tip talks. Ayan, ZQ tip talks. Isa sa hashtag na gagamitin natin and then the hashtag tip Talks teacher for teachers webinar series. Good afternoon po. So good afternoon po sa mga ating dito sa Facebook and then YouTube. Nito nakita ko na may mga good afternoon. Watching from Villa Hermosa NHS. SDO Masbate. Wow. Good afternoon po just sa mga taga Masbate. Good afternoon. Hello. Magandang hapon po. Ayan. So good afternoon po sa lahat. Ito yung mga Actually, ang lalayo ng mga iba, di ba? Yes, ayan. Yes. From Mom Baby Rose Teofe. Ito, tama po ba? Templo Nuevo to Blera. Ayan, good afternoon watching from SDO Katanduanes. Wow, hello po. Magandang hapon po sa inyo. I hope you are all safe po dyan. And ingat po palagi. Ayan, doble ingat po. Yes, good afternoon po sa inyo. Sa lahat. So, Katanduanes, ang lalayo ng ating mga viewers. Iba talaga nararating kapag talagang sa online, no? Yes. hanggang sa dulo ng ating Pilipinas. So, And syempre, na... Miss, okay, Miss Maricar, remind lang din po natin na dapat po ay tama po ang, ang inyong email na nilagay sa uh, registration dahil uh, doon nga po sa feedback, feedback form. Dahil i-email po namin yung uh, feedback form. Rather. Yes, tama po. Be sure tama at talaga yung email, ano po. Yung email Ayan, na nilagay so, po natin. Yes, may time pa po kayo. Pwede nyo pong reviewin yung mga nilagay nyo sa information po ng registration. Pwede naman po kayong mag-edit po ng response doon kasi nga po dapat po talaga ay ang inyong fully uh, registered po kayo ay tama po yung mga informations nyo ang ginagamit. Ayan, Ayan. Ma so, yung pong ating feedback form, hindi po siya po-post in public. Ito po ay i-email. Kaya dapat so, email, po doon sa yes. ating registration, ilagay po natin kung ano po talaga yung email na gagamitin or yung active talaga para doon nyo po ma-receive yung ating feedback form. Okay po? So, dapat po tama yung email. So, kung yung registration ay gusto nyo nga, tulad na sinabinanggit ni Ms. Marites, malikan nyo na lang po. You can edit your responses naman po doon. 
Yes, ayan. So, pwede pa pong humabol. Open, open pa po ang ating registration. Ayan, hanggang ngayon po. Hello, good ayan, afternoon. Good afternoon. Hello, good afternoon. Watching from Iligan City, Ma'am Noral Faro Mimimbang. Hello. Hello po from YouTube. Watching from YouTube. So, good afternoon po. And watching from, wow. Watching from, good afternoon po. Jan, si Kim Ma'am Janelle Marie Razo Aragon. Siya, good afternoon from SDO. May kawayan. So, this is from Bulacan. Tama po ba? May kawayan, Bulacan. So, good afternoon po sa lahat. Ayan, good afternoon po sa atin. Yung mga, yan po, oh, napapansin ako, mayroon talaga madami mga taga Masbate. No? So, good yes, afternoon talaga. po. Masbate din. And then, Okay, good up. Das Marinas. Hi, Ma'am Lani Suaberon. Good afternoon Hello, po. Hello, good afternoon po. Das Marinas City. Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Sa atin. Ito sa Facebook din. Watching from Facebook. Good afternoon. From SDO Pangasinan din. <laughs> so, nakakailan na tayong Pangasinan. Mas bate na mga. Yes, ang daming mga ano, Pangasinan. Tama ba? Pangasinan. <laughs> yes, ayan. From Ma'am Evelyn Santos from Facebook, hashtag ZQ Tip Talks and hashtag Tip Talk for webinar for teachers. Yan, tamang-tama po ma'am. Good afternoon po sa inyo. Hello. From Santa Lucia High School. So magandang hapon po sa inyo lahat. And then good afternoon po. Franching from Rizal High School, Pasig City. Yan, sa atin sa Pasig City. Ma'am, siguro ma'am Cruz yun. Binaligtad lang ni ma'am. Yes, I am. Kagayan di Oro City. Hello. Magandang hapon po sa inyo. Watching from YouTube. Magandang hapon po. Ayan, Miss Maricar, feeling po talaga na ready-ready na sila for our session or webinar for this afternoon. So to formally start po our introductory session for our day one para sa ating webinar series. Ayan, so let me introduce to you po our first speaker. And uh, yeah, and she is uh, the currently the general manager for the ZQ EdTech IT Solutions. She is also the customer success manager of Southeast Asia. And yes, po, she is also a teacher din po na kagaya nyo. And recently lang po ay nakareceive siya ng award from a Malaysian educator as one of the global inspiring women of 2020. And especially po, she is an EdTech advocate teacher since 2016. Siya po ang ating first speaker for today. Siyempre po, none other than Miss Rosemary Season. Hello ma'am, good afternoon. Yan, good afternoon po sa inyo. Mahangin po sa loob namin, ano, kaya medyo nagani mga buhok-buhok natin dyan. Yan. Okay, magandang hapon po sa inyo and I hope everyone is uh, safe nga po and uh, I hope na meron kayong matutunan dito sa session na to and I will really do my best to impart uh, something new, ano, information uh, na pwede po ninyong matutunan, ano, from this discussion. Bukod po diyan, meron pa po kaming mga susunod pang mga webinar series and each of the webinar requires you to register. Okay po? Kaya mahalaga po kayo, kayo po ay naka-follow at naka-like po dun sa atin pong mga, uh, anong tawag ito, sa, sa aming pong mga, sa aming Facebook page rather. And of course, if you are a currently user of Quizalize, we also give or we also send our active users um, some interesting uh, updates with regards to the platforms and as well dun sa mga events po na ginagawa po natin, right? Um, to start with, to formally start the discussion, let me please allow me to, uh, to share my screen with you. Yan. So, Miss Marites, please uh, check if my screen is already shared. Hello. <laughs> Hi, team. Can you tell me if the, the screen is now shared? Okay, I cannot read your uh, your messages. Please let me know. Thank you. 
All right, so educators, good afternoon once again from Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao, and for those who have already attended some of my previous sessions, uh, sana excited pa rin kayo ano, to, uh, to learn with me today um, because today is a little different from the usual that uh, we are giving you, um, one of which is may mga exciting prizes. Kaya kung nabasa ninyo yung registration, you, you should learn participate, di ba? And nakilagay doon and win exciting uh, surprises. That's right. Um, and make sure also na nakaregister kayo sa official registration. Also, please uh, be reminded that you have uh, to check, double check the, the, the information that you provided, particularly the emails. Kasi hindi po namin ipopost ang feedback. Ang uh, feedback Okay, so hindi po kasi namin ipopost ang feedback uh, registration. Hindi pa raw daw, hindi pa raw na share pala. Sorry, I forgot to share my screen. <laughs> Apologies. Okay. Ayan, I think naka-share na yung screen ko. Okay na, no? <laughs> thank you, thank you, team. Um, hindi po kasi namin ipapublic yung... Uh, Feedback, okay, registration. I-email namin yan right after the session to those who are officially registered. If you can see, ang um, um, official registration is still open. Why? For those who wanted to, ano, to, to join us, ano, pero forgot to complete the registration um, early this week. So you still have the chance until... Uh, the, the form is uh, accepting responses. Okay? Ayan, magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat dyan. Right, so let's now formally start the discussion. Welcome everyone uh, for today's session. This is an introductory session of the Tip Talks for Teachers webinar series. And today, uh, you will be with me, myself, Rosemary Season, and the uh, Today is August 14, 2021. So by the way, this is uh, organized by ZQ EdTech IT Solutions and in partnership with Zish and Quizalize. Okay, right. So please also allow me no, to introduce itong mga superwoman na kasama ko today. They will, they, they will be our moderators. Ano? They will read all your comments or your, uh, uh, sorry, um, and, and all of the messages that you will be posting on the comment section. Uh, this is Miss Maritas, uh, Miss Maritas Garospe. So this is Garospe. She is the junior customer success executive and also our senior customer success executive, Miss Maricar Ladinia. So again, welcome everyone for today's session. Okay, of course, the topic is learn the easiest way to differentiate your teaching. If some of you have already attended uh, some of the previous sessions that I organize, we organize with other uh, with other organizers also. I think you might find this um, topic as just a refresher and more of getting uh, additional information. Okay, so some of those ano, sessions, because we have limited time. Okay, but but today also we will try our, our very best to make it short. Just not just to make sure that you are not getting bored, okay? Maging aktibo po kayo kasi maaari kayong manalo ng mga cash prices along the way. Okay? <laughs> All right, let's proceed. Okay, so the objective must be clear to the audience. You know the topic and the objective of this topic is to provide the easy technology tips for teachers to achieve their differentiation goals in teaching. Ayan po yung ating objective. Ano? More of tips, uh, more of some reminders, um, important details in teaching and learning that we might have forgotten. I'm not saying that this topic is very new to everyone, but it's just like a, a, a reminder na rin for, for all our educators there that na, na baka nakakalimutan lang natin. So it's kind of more of just refresher. Okay po? And I hope we will achieve the objective after the session. Okay, so we have some house rules, everyone. 
Number one is you must, uh, the participants are expected to complete the official registration for today's session. This has been uh, mentioning by my team since earlier when we started the, the, ano, the, the program. Ano po. Answer the feedback form right after the session. So again, we will be, we will based on the official registration for the webinar. For those who are officially registered, then expect an, an email from us after the session, which includes the following, nga, the feedback form, okay? You must answer the feedback form not later than 36 hours, okay? Kasi magsasarado din po iyon. So it's very important that you are officially registered for this session. And the registration, by the way, is still open. Kasi uh, due to ano na rin, Heidi Man, actually, I'm just ex I'm just um, uh, into targeting like 300 lang eh. But due to Heidi Man, and thank you so much for your trust, ano, I leave it open. I leave the registration open, ano. So lahat ng mga gustong mag-register pa, you are welcome to do so. And you have to, otherwise you will not able to get the feedback form. The feedback form is... Uh, the registration and also giving us a feedback on the session and another is uh doon kami magbe-base ng e-certificate or e-certification registration so so if you are not registered automatically you will not able to receive the feedback form or the registration for the e-certification okay i hope that's clear now po um again we will not uh post the feedback form live Okay po ah, sa email ninyo po yan. Sana wala na pong magtatanong later sa amin. Bakit hindi ako nakatanggap ng, <laughs> ng certificate? And also to those who been asking, ano yung, uh, ano yung uh, uh, live session link for this session? Kaya po namin kayo pina-follow sa Facebook page ni Zikyo at Tech Eats. Pag naka-follow kayo, automatic kayo po ay makakatanggap ng notification about the webinar session and that's very important okay po ngayon if you missed that part out we sent you a reminder before the the session then uh we apologize unless may time kang reviewin mamaya preview mo then go ahead and do so okay Pay attention and actively participate kasi nga, it's gonna be rewarding, no? Not just because we will give away some cash prizes, but of course, rewarding because we will learn. Well, could be not something new, but at least, you know, uh, could remind you of some importance that uh, we, uh, we teachers do promise in our profession. Okay, so yung topic natin ngayon kasi baka lang nakakalimutan na natin so it could, it could be a good reminder. Now, please do not post any personal information in the comment section. Okay, you're responsible to your, uh, to your data. So do not post any personal information in the comment section. Okay, so if you have questions later, we will have, we will be conducting an open forum. It's going to take like 15 minutes, 50 to 20, it depends on the time. Okay, pero bago tayo mag-close, we'll be conducting an open forum where uh, questions posted on the comment section will be answered sa last part nga po ng session natin. Okay, kung may mga tanong kayo. Okay, moving on now to formally open this discussion. Let me share this with you. Uh, one of the very inspirational quotes that I got from the internet from Carol Ann Tomlinson. Actually, si Carol Ann, napakadami niya pong mga, mga, ano, mga quotes na talaga namang nakakayanig ng profession. Ano? I'm a teacher by background, by the way. I think uh, that has been mentioned by, uh, by one of my team. Ano po? At kaya naman, madali ako maka-appreciate ng mga ganitong klase ng quote because I do understand the profession. Excuse Alright, so sa sabi... Yes? Uh, yung slide nyo po, uh, nasa first slide pa rin po. Oh. Sorry. Sige, let me try again. Miss Maricar, please, ano, remove muna ha. Kanina pa ako nasa, natapos na sa objective and all. Okay. 
Let me fix it again. Can we try, Miss Maricar? Please see. Sa, sa ano muna kung nag-change. Uh, Ayan, nag-change. Miss Maricar? Hello? I cannot read your, I know, you can, you can um, unmute Hello. your mic. Hi, yes. Not to change so, back. Wala pa po, Miss Rose. Mm. Okay. Sorry about the technical error. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Teka lang, teka lang. Wait na. Ayan ba? Okay na? Nagpapalit-palit? Yes, Miss Rose. Na? Okay na po. Okay. Sige. Ay, okay. wait lang po, Miss Rose. Pakitry, pwede pong pakitry ng seconds. Kung maglilipat po siya ng slide. Kung magkichange po siya ng slide. Yan. Hindi po siya nag-change. Hindi siya nag-change. Ay, opo. Hindi po ulit nag-change, Miss Rose. Sige, wait lang. Ulitin natin, ha? Yes. I'm sorry yes, about the, no, the issue. But please read ano muna comments while we are fixing yes, the issue. Po. Yes po. Ibig sabihin live na live po talaga tayo ngayon. Yes. Or this afternoon. Yes po. So may mga technical alam din po tayo. So sa lahat po ng mga viewers natin dyan sa so YouTube and Facebook. So good afternoon po. Hi. Hello, Ma'am Vina Grace. Pahuri, right? Good afternoon po ulit. Yan, still watching from Sebi to a senior elementary school ng SDO sa Gay City, Negros Accidental. Hello, ma'am. Good afternoon. Yes, yeah, so magandang hapon po dyan. Watching from the YouTube din ba to? Yan. Ayan, so remind lang po ulit namin. Pwede, pwede pa po kayong humabal para po makapag-register. Yes, lang po. Ha? Ito pa yung ating registration po para makita natin sa mga hindi pa nakakapag-register. And then don't forget to follow us on Facebook page and then YouTube po namin using the ZQ at TechEats. Yung yes. yung ating Facebook page. Nandun din po yung link din po na registration na kapost din po yung ating event for this afternoon. Miss Maricar, could you check yes. kung okay na? Yes, Miss Rose. Okay yes, na? Yes, okay, Miss Rose. Yes. Okay, that's good. Sige. Okay na, okay po. Ayan, sige. Uh, please Thank make sure Rose. to share my screen na. Thank you. Naka-share na? Yes, Miss Rose. Uh, oh, So that is one of the challenges that everyone is facing. Ano? <laughs> eh, kahit na advanced ka pa sa technology and what. Anyway, going back to our topic, since hindi nyo nakita yung uh, slides ko earlier, so ayan, pakita ko lang sa inyo. Ayan, ang aking mga magagandang mga ano uh, executive, mga customer success executive. Okay, and again, the topic for today is learn the easiest way to differentiate your teaching. The objective is very clear. Provide you the easy technology tips for teachers achieve their differentiation goals in teaching. And some of the house rules that I mentioned earlier, sana po malino po ito. You can screenshot this one if you wish. Go on. Um, para lang po malinaw, ano, para po after ng session, wala na pong kung kani-kanino nagtatanong kung bakit hindi po tayo nakatanggap ng e-certification and uh, yon yung mga ganong ano po. Pakibasa na lang din po ang registration form. Ayun nga, nahinto po tayo dito kanina sa isa sa napakagandang quote na nakita ko po from the internet. Um, this woman provides a lot of uh, inspirational quote for teachers. If you want to visit that, those quotes, then go to the inspiringquotes.us and look for Miss Carol Ann Tomlinson. Napakagaganda po. Simplified. Uh, the, the meaning uh, has expressed in a simple way that anyone can understand straight away, you know. And one of those nga is... Uh, sabi niya, when challenge and skills are in balance, the activity its own reward, sabi ng ganon. Maintindihan nyo ba? <laughs> okay, so sabi niya, kapag yung challenge and skills nga daw ay, uh, di ba tinagalog ko lang, ay balance nga daw, then makukuha daw natin yung, uh, or, or itself, the, the, the skills and the challenge itself is, is already a reward to those who are uh, experiencing it. In this example, we are talking about the students and not just the students itself. 
but you as well as a teacher. Okay? And uh, our students are very diverse, ano? lalo na ngayon. At uh, sobrang ang liit ng ating uh, uh, room no? for us to, ano, to, anong tawag dito, to implement some of our usual routines just to make sure that the diverse students are still on track. Tama po ba ako? Do you agree with that? So I hope that uh, Carol and Tomlinson will will help us you know, achieve our goal for this discussion. Okay, so bago tayo, mag, ako pala magtungo, ano, let me hear from you. Ito na yung sinasabi ko na you have to be attentive, you have to participate, and of course, uh, sobrang rewarding pa nga kung ikaw ay matututo. Ano. Um, but before I... Percy, gusto ko muna kayong makilala, gusto ko muna kayong marinig. I want to hear your thoughts. So we have these two, um, I think this is phrase, we can consider this as phrase, right? So one of which is uh, sage on the stage and the other one is guide on the side. Sino po ang familiar sa inyo dito? Team, you can read the comments, ha? Sino ang familiar sa inyo dito sa dalawang ito? Sabi daw ay sage on the stage and the guide on the side. Familiar? Sinong familiar dito? You can write your comment, ha? You can write your comment. Again, you you have to be active in this discussion. I don't like my my viewers just to view me. <laughs> okay, and just sitting there. You have to be with me. Okay po? We are learning. You will be learning from me, and I will be learning from you as well. So please, could you help me understand the difference between these two? And if you are familiar, I'm sure you are very familiar because these two phrases uh, describe the teacher's role or the educator's role. Tama po ba? Now, what is the difference between sage on the stage and a guide on the side? Ano po kayong difference itong dalawa? Comment po kayo. I'll be choosing five. Five um, uh, meaningful answer. I mean, you can answer it based on your experience. Kaya meaningful answer, you know? We will be choosing five, and five of you will be receiving 20 pesos cash, okay, through Gcash. Hindi lang, hindi lang 20 pesos papamigay namin, ha? Hindi lang. Kaya po, magpatuloy kayong tumutok at makinig mag-participate kasi habang tumatagal ang session, palaki ng palaki yung mga prices na yan, okay? But for now, sige po. Miss Maricar, Miss Marites. Hi, Miss Rose. Ah. Uh -uh. Sige nga, titingin ako ng mga comments. Yes, Miss Ray. Okay. Oo, titingin ako ng mga comments. Sige, ano ano po ba Okay, ano po ba yung uh, meaning nitong uh, sage on the stage and guide on the side? Ayun. Hahanap ako ng ilan na hahanapin natin dito sa 20 pieces. <laughs> okay, pieces wala lang po kasi intro pa lang tayo eh. Ilan ang hinahanap natin? Lima ba? Five. Yes po, five. Five. Oh, five lucky winners. You have to be, uh, you have to show your heart uh, whenever you respond to the questions that we will be posting. Okay, sige nga. O, oh, ba lahat kayo familiar tayo dyan? Kasi yan yung role natin. Actually, may isa akong napili. Show ko na. Show ko na. Ayan. Sabi ni Ma'am Sheila. O, oh, yung mga napipili, screenshot niyan. yan. Kagaya nito. Kasi uh, we will be asking you for that. Okay, as a as a proof, no, that you are the one who is uh, being rewarded. Okay, sabi ni Ma'am Sheila Joy at Lawan, all too familiar scene of the knowledgeable teacher. Can you read it, please, Miss Marites? Aya, sabi ni Ma'am Sheila Joy at Lawan, all too familiar scene of the knowledgeable teacher delivering lectures to passive students who memorize information for the sake of is spitting it back out again on testing day. Wow, oh, no, yes. English. Kailangan ko yata ng tissue. <laughs> okay, so I'll be choosing Ma'am Sheila, but um, I am still looking for the best answer, ha? Best answer, by the way, please take note, team. The best uh, answer will be getting 50, pe 50 pesos, okay? Wow. So let's, yes, one best answer, but five of the chosen answers will be getting a uh, or receiving 20 pesos, okay? Dapat kumpleto po, huwag nyo nang pag-iwalayin. Sa isang sagot, dapat nandun na yun, okay? 
Oh, ito pipiliin ko to si Sir Jan. Oh, pangalawa yan, doon sa 20 pesos ha. Sometimes it vary, varies depending on the need of the situation because as a teacher, we must be able to adopt and modify our strategies. So kaya ako siya pinili kasi medyo may mga words siya na nakatumbok dun sa tinanong ko. So uh, we are uh, comparing the two roles nga and strategies. Ano? And according to him, to him uh, we can modify those depending on the situation. Ay, ito, may nakita ako, simplify, pero ang galing nga. Nasaan na yun? Ang bilis kasi niya. May nakita ako, saan na yun? Ito yata yun. Uh, let me just check. So, dalawa na yung napili natin. Okay, meron dito isa. Ang bilis niya, ang bilis niyang magano ha? Huwag tayo magano kakapipay sa Google, alam namin yan. <laughs> Okay, walang, walang copy-paste sa Google tayo. Okay, let me see. Simpleng sagot, pero tug, ano, tugmang-tugma. Hanap tayo. Okay, si Ito. Ito, yan. Melchor. Ano yan? Paano yan sabihin? <laughs> Sige nga, please pakibasa. Ayan, sabi ni Ma'am Batol, Sir Melchor or Melchor Cachuela. Sage on the stage is teacher-centered while guide on the side is guided teaching. O, oh, diba? O, oh, oh, yan yung uh, pinaka-exacto doon sa hinahanap nating tanong. Ano? That is very true. And those, that is the difference between the two. With similarity... They are both referring to the referring to the uh, teacher's role, but its distinctive uh, description. Ayan nga na banggit ni Sir Mel Sharp. Ilan na lang? Dalawa na lang ba? Yes, dalawa na lang. Oh, ito pa, ito pa si Ma'am Heidi. Oh. Screenshot niyan. Kung kayo ay napipili sa ano ha, screenshot, you, we will be asking you that as a proof that you are the awardee, okay? Sabi ni Ma'am Heidi, pakibasa nga Miss Maricar. Yes, I believe Miss Heidi. Sage on the stage is more on traditional teacher, while guide on the side is for teachers who are facilitators. O, oh, diba? Ganda rin. Ilan pa ba ang hinahanap natin? Ilan pa? Isa na lang. Oh, One diba? more, yes. One more. Oh, ito, ito, ito. Tagli siya, pero ano, may ano yung kanyang sinabi? Jackpot. O, oh, diba? Naka-jackpot. Jackpot. Na. <laughs> Jackpot. <laughs> Sige. <laughs> and sige po, basahin ko na lang din po. Ang sabi ni Ma'am is on the stage, na stage po ay advanced o experience na siya o traditional method na sa education system natin while ang guide ay facilitator o ang gina ginagamit natin sa current situation now. So yung oh, sabi ni Ma'am. Oh, oh. Okay, so kompleto na tayo, tama ba? Tama, no? Kompleto yes, na tayo. Oh, oh. Ngayon, ito na lang yung follow-up question doon. Yung follow-up question, okay? Ang follow-up question ko doon, sino ang bida sa stage on the stage? At sino naman ang bida sa guide on the side? Sige po, yung pinaka mauunang sumagot, yun ang pipiliin natin for extra 20 pesos. Nako, ito, paluwal na. <laughs> okay, paluwal na tayo neto. Okay, sige. Dito pa lang, paluwal na ako. Sige, um... Sino ang bida doon sa naunang role at sino ang bida dito sa pangalawang role? Oh, sige po, yung binanggit natin kanina. Sino ang bida? Sabihin nyo lang. <laughs> Ay, eto, nakita ko. Sin Ay, teka lang. Sorry, eto, eto, eto. Oh. Ayan, no, simple lang sagot niya. Sinabi niya na agad. Okay, sa unang role daw, ang bida ay si teacher. Ito yung traditional teaching. Ito yung madalas tayo lang ang nagsasalita. No, madalas uh, dapat ang mga bata ay makinig at sumunod. Ayan, so tama. Ang bida sa unang role ay si teacher. While doon sa guide on the side ay si student. Alam kong alam nating lahat yan. But for those who forgot, already forget it because of uh, marami tayong mga responsibilities ano, na umiira sa buhay natin, this is a good uh, reminder for you that we actually have two roles. And these two roles uh, may impact, ano, students learning. Okay po. Ayan. So, thank you so much for the participation. Tanggalin lang po natin yung uh, binigay na comment. Oh, 
hindi lang po 20 pesos so kayo mag-alala. Basta makinig kayo at mag-participate kayo. Pabongga ng pabongga yan, okay? Alright, so let me continue sharing my screen with you. So now we remember, we all re we already remember, no? Uh, na ang ano pala, ang sage on the stage, si teacher pala ang bida dito. While guide on the side is si student pala. And that's right, kanina may nagsabi, the current situation, ang nangyayari o ang role ni teacher ay as facilitator. And that is to guide uh, the students. What does that mean? Ang bida si, si student, tama? So siya ang namimili. Okay, in a way, siya yung namimili. Okay? Or siya yung uh, binibigyan ng options on how to learn. Alright? So, and this is what we are currently doing uh, right now. Okay? Alright, so dyan na ngayon pumapasok yung diversity of learners. And that's why we need to give, uh, apply difference, uh, sorry, differentiation. Okay po? Or yung uh, so instructions natin, we have to provide uh, different options different choices for the students for them to learn on their own uh, of course with the help of our ano guidance ano more of just guide lang tayo so ang pag sinabi nating differentiation according to readingrockets.org this is the process of tailoring instructions to meet individual needs okay whether teachers differentiate content Okay, kung regardless yan, kung content ang pinag-uusapan natin, regardless kung process or even the products or even the learning environment, the use of ongoing assessment and flexible grouping makes this as a successful approach to instruction. So, ibig sabihin pala, differentiation could help us be successful ano, sa ating mga instructions na ibinibigay sa mga Bata. So regardless nga kung content ang pag-uusapan natin, it's process, it's environment, materials, and of course the assessment. Okay? Alright, so now the, this is very important. Mahalaga to. Why? Because the differentiated instructions according to teachingexceptionalthinkers.com allow teachers to give students the support they need instead of lumping them together in one big group. Totoo to, na mahalaga po talaga na may differentiation. Kasi ako, uh, ano ako, uh, old curriculum ako graduate. Wala nang tanungan ng age, ha? Wala nang tanungan ng edad. Basta yung old curriculum, maala na kayo mag-point out kung alin sa old curriculum ang uh, napagtapusan ko. I am very grateful of those learnings. Uh, my foundation was really strong because of that old curriculum na napagtapusan ko. But I am not... Uh, uh, I am not saying that the new curriculum is hindi hindi siya uh, anong tawag dito hindi siya ganun ka effective today is no because nga I think the curriculum evolves because the generation evolves also tama po ba na ang curriculum dapat ay tutugma sa kung ano na yung ability ng student natin so the kung ang tatanungin which is better curriculum the better curriculum is the curriculum right now Bakit? Kasi yan yung tugma sa ating generation ngayon. Okay? And uh, pumapasok po ang importance ng differentiation doon. Kasi baka maraming mapag-iwan ng student kung isa lang ang i-apply po nating uh, approach sa student natin ngayon. So that's why we need to learn uh, and be effective on the differentiation part. I hope you will agree. If you're not agree with, if you do not agree with that, then let's have Let's raise your concerns or may tanong kayo, clarification. Additional information would really help sa ating open forum, okay? <clears throat> Moving on. Pero may blockers. Gusto mo yan eh. Maganda talaga yan. As for the, as, uh, as per the, the curriculum itself, ang ganda. Maganda ang design. But there are some hindrance. There are blockers. Tama po ba? To achieve. Uh, that kind of technique, lalo na sa panahon natin ngayon, when we shift to new normal, mas, mas marami blockers. Okay po? And I know, I do understand. Um, now, the question is, why don't teachers differentiate instruction all the time? So, alam naman natin na maganda ang differentiation because we have diverse of learners. Di po ba? Um, ganun na rin kailangan nating sumabay sa sa 
uh, sa evolution ng curriculum, tama po ba? Kailangan sabayan natin yan. Alam natin na there are they, these are important, but there are, there are some blockers that we, uh, where we stop ourselves to to ano to uh, uh, to apply this kind of different section. Sabi dito, differentiating instructions is a good practice. But why doesn't everyone do it? Bakit nga ba? Alright, so uh, I will just, uh, um, I mean, enumerate some of the reasons why based on my previous experience sa classroom. Dati pa po, yon. Long time ago, yon. I am no longer teaching right now. And uh, I don't uh, experience what you are currently experiencing. Kuhan naman po yung na-experience nyo niya. So, disclaimer po, ha? Okay, so, ang i-enumerate ko dito sa mga blockers are just based on my experience when I was in the teaching field. And of course, since I am teaching teachers also uh, using uh, digital tools, doon ako mag-base. So, one of the reasons is that na nakita ko po, na actually some of the articles on the internet agree on this, is that we thought we have to create a separate plans, no? Kasi pag nag, nag-planning ka, matrabaho ni yon. And you thought, with the differentiation, you have to create separate plans. So, trabaho, trabaho, trabaho. Dahil trabaho, di ba? Um, and most of the time, uh, some, hindi ko naman sinasabing lahat, but some of the teachers also find it like, uh, it's too much for my role. Ganun. Okay? Whatever the reason is. But sometimes, we do think of that. And of course, lalo na ngayon sa ating setup sa education, paano? Lalo na kung ako ay isang z- seasonal teacher po ba ang tawag sa mga ganun? O lalo na ako, kung ako yung uh, nasa henerasyon na hindi masyadong na-open sa technology. So those are some of the blockers that I know based on my observation and based on my experience. But if you have other reasons than those mentioned, then please feel free to share your ano comments diyan sa ano sa sa comment section natin and i will be reading those uh, sa open forum okay po all right so discussing about the blockers i want to hear from you okay i want to hear from you nasabi niya natin yung blockers now since nga wala po ako ngayon sa field can you give a real world situation in teaching where you find it challenging to deliver differentiated instructions. And another question, dapat dalawang sagutin nyo. Tito, pipili kami ng ilan na nga team? Ilan na nga pipiliin natin? Ilan ang pipiliin natin best answer dito? Three, Miss Rose. Tatlo. Na, Tig? Mamagkano naman this time? Yes, of course, Tig. 100 po sila. Mayroon din oh, 100. 100 na. Tumaas na. 80 pesos ha. Sabi sa inyo, abang, tumata, abang tumatagal tataas tayo eh. So I want to hear from you. Since I am no longer in, in the field, I mean in the actual teaching and learning with the students, but I am uh, with the teaching and learning with the professionals like you. I know, I know that the experience is different. So I want to hear from you. Could you share with me a real world situation in teaching where you find it very challenging to deliver differentiated instructions? And of course, to inspire other, could you share also how did you handle the challenges? So may tanong at syempre meron ding uh, proposed solution. Hindi lang para sa akin for, you, for me to understand you, but of course for the rest of the educators today. Okay, real world situation ang pinag-usapan na. It's not from the book, but it's based on your experience. Okay, Miss Maricar, I'll be reading the comments. All right, so please answer po in one lang ha. Pagsamahin niyo na po yung sagot niyo. We will be choosing five best answer. And each one of you, hindi lang kayo nakapag-inspire ng iba, kundi uh, mananalo pa kayo na 50 pieces 50 pieces okay all right so mamimili po ako and i'll be giving everyone 5 minutes to answer the question 5 minutes to answer the question <clears throat> team paki monitor yung ating ano ha 5 minutes to answer the question i'll be reading your comments now sige mamimili po ako ng limang best answer Okay, kailangan po yung yung i-comment niyo yung sagot sa panong, ha? Yung sagot po doon sa panong. 
focus kayo po sa tanong. Okay? One example of a real-world situation in teaching where you find it challenging to deliver differentiated instructions. At kung nakita mong challenging yon, ano yung ginawa mo? No? To surpass the challenge. Okay? Mamimili po ako. <clears throat> Wag po kayong maglalabas dito ng mga hinaing ninyo with regards to your ano ah, current situation. We are here to learn together, okay? All right. So let me nagka-copy po ako ng mga ano ah, ng mga uh, ng mga napipili ko pong uh, mga magagandang sagot. Ah. Wag lalayo sa tanong. Doon tayo sa tanong lang, ha? Nagka-copy po ako dito. Alright. Ay, yung, yung iba, so, mas, yung mga sagot kanina nila doon sa may ano. Ay, maganda to. Maganda ang sagot ni ano. Oh, ito yung isa sa mga limang napili ko. Sabi niya, students lack of educational gadgets that will be used for educational purposes. Tama naman, ano? Kasi pagka may gadget din tayo nowadays, ha? ito to sa sitwasyon natin ngayon, Ang dami mong resources na magagamit, no? To to help you differentiate your ano, your teaching and assessment na rin, ano? So sabi niya ang ginawa niya, nag-reach out siya sa parents and students through the help of LGU. So parang ang nakita ko dito is uh inano niya, inapply niya yung collaboration, no? Yung collaboration para ma still ma-execute niya pa rin yung kanyang uh objective to teach and of course to apply the differentiated uh Ano nga, teaching, ano? Oh, ito, galit na galit. Sabi ganun. Okay, sige po, magbabasa po ako dito. So, one na si ma'am. Ang galing ko lang si ma'am. Paki-screenshot niyo po yan pag pinapakita ko yan sa inyo, ha? Ay, pag pinapakita sa screen. All right. Five minutes lang po tayo dito. Ay, maganda rin to. Gusto ko to. Miss Marites, uh, pakibasa mo nga siya. Para medyo may konting <laughs> ano din. Rest time ko. <laughs> Sige. Sige, Miss Marites. Ayan, sabi ni ma'am. Arlene Ann Lorenzo, it is challenging to deliver differentiated instruction is when new normal begins. Students are sectioned by modality, not by their average, and some are advanced, but most are not. I record myself discussing the lesson to help the student understand it well. Pwede, pwede yung sagot ni mama, no? Pwede. Pero, yes, uh, yes. so, yan na. Ilan na tayo? Ilan na yung napili natin? Ilan na? Dalawa, Dalawa pa lang is Rose. Dalawa pa lang ba? Apa. Parang feeling ko tatlo na. Ah, dalawa pa lang? Yes, pa. Okay, hindi ba tatlo? O oh, sige, dalawa. O oh, so may tatlo pa tayo. Ay, maganda rin to. Simplified. Simplified ang kanyang sagot. Pero, eto na nga. Siguro hindi lang nasagot ni Ma Maria yung uh, yung real world situation case ano exactly kung ano yung situation na na experience niya. Pero I think this is in general, no? In general, no? Like uh, marami siyang nakitang mga mga uh, issues ano in terms of delivering instructional ay differentiated uh, or differentiation in teaching. Pero ang ginawa niya Nag-research siya ng applicable interventions to surpass the challenges. Hindi lang ganun ka, ano, hindi lang siya ganun ka, ang tawag ng particular yung sagot niya, very general. But maganda rin to. No? Maganda rin na maging attitude ng teacher yan. Napakadaming pinaprovide ng ating mga DepEd uh, offices, ganyan, ng mga tools, ng mga learnings for us to grow and help you surpass the challenges these days. So kudos po sa ating mga leaders din, ano, Ah, uh, lagi ko nakikita ang dami po nilang mga ano, mga sessions ano, but sometimes uh, dahil nga minsan din, uh, marami din tayong ginagawa. Siguro nakakaligtaan lang natin siyang bisitahin. Ilan na? Tatlo? So, yes, tatlo na pa. Oh, wag niyo lang pong sabihin kung ano yung mahirap, but you have to tell me yours the solution that you ano, apply to surpass 
the challenges. Okay? Tatlo, dalawa pa. Okay, let me see. Ay, ito maganda rin to. Puso, ganun. Dinaan sa puso ni Jackpot. Nakakadalawa ka na Jackpot ka talaga. Alright. So, Miss Marites, sabasahin mo nga kung bakit maganda ang sinabi ni ma'am. At nasa puso, puso ang pinairal niya. Sige. Yan, talagang nasa puso ni ma'am. For me, the most challenging situation is having a class in lowest section or in a special education class wherein we have a lot of differentiated individuals. Having a big heart in handling a caring child, and caring child is the biggest asset and best thing that we can give aside from having expertise in such fields. Wow! Ano, diba? Oh, I-screenshot ni po yun, ha? Alright, so maganda rin naman yung sagot ni ma'am. At kung yun nga, ang pinapairal talaga natin muna ay puso bago yung, yung I mean, with regards to our profession na, with regards to applying our profession, kung unang napapairal ay puso, talagang magbubukas ang lahat ng mga potential uh, resources or solutions to whatever kind of issues you are currently facing. Uh, Doon sa mga, hindi ko naman sinasabing yung ating mga bagong mga guru, ano, ay nawawala ang puso, ano, pero uh, based on my observation, ramdam ko yung puso ng mga mga nauna nating mga ano, ng mga una nating mga naging guro. At yung mga unang mga naging guro ngayon na nakikita naman din natin ano, yung effort nila talagang to, to switch into the new normal. Sobrang kudos po ako doon sa mga high salute to our teachers who, who have been there for quite some time in the in the profession ano, sa inyo pong uh, position ngayon kung nasaan man kayo ngayon. Sobrang saludo po ako sa inyo. Kasi ako, even myself, kahit medyo marunong ko sa technology, still, whenever I ano, I open another application, sometimes, ano, hindi hard, eh, hindi mahirap eh. But sometimes, ano, uh, sobra na ng dami ng ina-adapt nating mga knowledge. Sometimes, ano na, na overwhelm na rin siya. Kaya yung mga guru po natin dyan, yung mga datihan na, yung mga datihan na po, Sobrang saludo po ako sa inyo. I, and I hope pag po kayo sana mapapagod because the new genera- this generation still needs you. Ganyan. Kailangan pa rin po kayo. At sa mga bago naman natin pong mga guro ano, sa generation na to, uh, ano yan, alam ko pong well-equipped na kayo sa technology. Um, and of course, medyo iba na rin po yung environment ng ating uh, profession ngayon which is alam naman din natin ng difference. So you are also effective ano in what you are currently doing and giving your best to our students ano uh, providing them a good ano pa rin, learning environment so tulong-tulungan po natin yung mga ano natin yung mga ano na veterana na doon sa ating pagtuturo kailangan nila ng tulong niyo all right and this is also uh, another purpose why we are conducting such kind of discussion like this eto na eto na ilan na ilan pa yung kulang isa pa po, Miss Rose, and one isa more. Pa, para, isa pa, isa yes. pa. Sige. Okay, let me see. Sige, ito, 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 ito. May napili na akong isa pa. Ito. Pakibasa nga, please. Ayan, sabi Ayan. ni Ma'am. Ma'am, hi, St. Ray. During this pandemic, it's a bit hard for teachers to distinguish the learning capacity of each student since they're not able to really meet them personally. So what I did, I tried letting them answer the first module and I determined their learning capacity level from their answers. I have two sets of activities, one for the fast learners and the other is for the slow learners. Oh, yung gandang. Ito yung pinaka-swak na swak talagang best example na somehow hinahanap ko kanina no, dun sa tanong. Kasi dito, sa binigay ni ma'am na sagot, nagpakita siya ng different options for the students to, uh, to, ano, to, uh, to fulfill the teaching and learning ano, dun sa binanggit niyang situation. So, nagbigay daw siya ng two sets of activities. One is for, for the fast learners and the other is for the... Ito yung pinaka-specific ano, na best example that we can uh, um, learn from. Ano. So, thank you so much for your participation in this second question and congratulations to all na napili. At sa mga hindi naman napili, congratulations because you're still with me. <laughs> you are open for new learning. Thank you so much for your participation. All right, let me... Um, 
uh, share again my screen with you to continue our discussion. Um, I am learning also, ah, ako yung natuto sa inyo pong mga komento. Maraming maraming pong salamat. Alright, ako naman as, a, as an uh, advocate, an uh, edtech advocate, ang nakikita kong problema lang ay uh, most of the time, maraming participants ang not 100% uh, listening, no? Um, be, maybe because there are other tasks also at the same time. Right? So, how did I handle that? Ito, nagpapamigay tayo ng mga cash prizes. <laughs> just to, I know, just to motivate you and be with me, you know, learn with me. Ayan. And of course, making my discussion live uh, as much as possible, like interactive, you know. Um, that way, na susurpass ko kahit pa paano yung challenges. Kasi for sure, pag may narinig kayong 20 pesos, ay teka, dyan ka muna dito. <laughs> no, it's just a joke. I'm just trying to lighten up the discussion. All right, moving forward. Okay, these are just the remem reminders or you have to remember. Um, disclaimer, this is just coming from me, okay? Again, based on my experience. So for me, uh, for you not to consider your situation right now as stressful or, <clears throat> or mahirap or whatever term is that, just remember these four things, okay? Uh, especially when we are talking about differentiated instructions. One. Do not sacrifice the set learning objectives. So we have one, I think, I forgot the specific uh, subject in our profession, you know, but uh, there is uh, a learning about objectives and not sacrificing it. So what will happen kung halimbawa, um, you, you are teaching a, a particular subject, tapos yung materials mo naman, eh, hindi nagtutugma dun sa objective mo. So alin sa dalawa yung dapat mong isacrifice? The, the material or the objective. Okay? Nandaan po ninyo, wag po nating i-sacrifice yung objectives. Kung ang materials hindi nagja-jive sa objective mo, remember that uh remember to still stick no doon sa iyong objective, not sa materials mo. Okay? Po sa goal mo dapat ano ang goal mo. All right? Number 2, do not think that you need to create separate plans to deliver differentiated instructions. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Kung hindi naman hinihingi siguro ng supervisors ninyo na, oh, kailangan differentiated instructions tayo, gawa ka ng plan A, plan B, plan C, plan D. Okay, I don't know. Okay, I'm not sure that uh, sure of that. But if your supervisors are not requiring you to do such, then do not stress out yourself. Focus on the differentiated instructions, but do not think. Wag mong iisipin kasi yon, okay? Because that will uh, hinder you from giving your students differentiated instructions. Trabaho na agad iniisip mo kasi eh, di ba po? So remember, do not think that you need to create separate plans to deliver differentiated instructions. Okay? Um, number three, remember that you are a facilitator. Kung meron sa atin dito siguro na... Napag-usapin natin yung different role kanina kung uh, if, if your mindset is still on the on the stage on the stage tapos uh, you are you are trying to figure out what went wrong with your teaching or something like that where are you lacking at then i think you should uh, you should uh, visit the other role which is the applicable these days being the guide on the side so remember that you are a facilitator. I will share my experience with you teaching in college. Facilitator kami. Facilitator lang ako when I was in college. I have my plan, but most of the activities are student-centered. Oh, less work pa sa akin. Diba? Diba? At some point, I have the plan. I will give you instructions. You do the rest and I will evaluate you. I will evaluate you rather. So remember that you are a facilitator, okay? And lastly, augment improvements with assessment and evaluation. Wag mo pong wawalain pa rin ang assessment and evaluation. Regardless of the setup in education, if you really are into imparting knowledge, you must have a tool where you can identify, where you can judge, where you can analyze and make a realization on where you can improve and who among your learners are uh, being behind 
No, so wag mo wag mo pa rin nga alisin si assessment and evaluation. And with regards to assessment and evaluation, marami tayong ways on how to conduct that. Tama ba ako? May mga performance task kayo. We also have subjective type of uh, assessment and objective type. So these are only few of the examples with regards to assessment. Uh, na nina-apply na rin natin yung differentiated instructions, tiba? Tama po ba? All right. So I hope uh, these four, after ng session natin, ay sana matandaan nyo. And sana, whenever you find something challenges in your profession, please always think these four. And uh, sana mag-reflect pa rin yung itsura ko. I mean, yung itsura ng slide ko <laughs> whenever you think of this. And I hope you find this helpful. Okay po? Okay. So sometimes kasi ano lang eh, uh, minsan po, ah, minsan hindi ko po, I'm again, Disclaimer, I am not aware 100% of what you are currently experiencing in your teaching profession in general. Okay po, in general na, wala po akong masyadong alam dyan. I'm just uh, uh, giving you some insights coming from my own experience then and now. Okay po? So I hope you learn from that. Now, here is the good, very good question, especially these days. Am I a good teacher? Yan ang magandang tanong ngayon eh. Natatanungin natin yung ating sarili for realization. Am I a good teacher? Yan. So sabi sa steve.wheeler.co.uk, sabi niya, innovative teaching focus on creating conducive environments within which good learning can occur. Okay, sa ngayon, medyo challenging yung part na yan. Kasi nga, maraming mga... Uh, iba pang factors ng bata iniisip pa no unlike yung sa school talagang focus talaga but then we should uh, not limit ourselves to look for different options that we can provide to still execute or impart learning to our students okay effective learning take note of that i i'm talking about effective learning and innovative teachers are excellent at supporting students and are also adapt or adapt at creating engaging content and new experiences. Okay? Um, Google is a big open library for all of us. If you want to learn something, just click on the button and you have that already. But I think being a good teacher uh, should start from sparking your interest. Should start from remembering the passion that we should apply in the in the profession. Pag, nila, pag nalimutan po kasi natin yung passion na, na teaching is actually a passion, no? Wala na po. Marami ng mga bagay ang iikot sa isip natin. We, we, can, we can only identify issues, no? Nawawala na yung skills natin on how to advance ourselves to face the issues with confidence and with a big heart. <laughs> okay. And a good teacher observes and, and measures progress without causing any stress to the learner or interruption to learning. So maganda rin po ito. Yung interruption, kapag ka-online, hindi nawawala yung interruption, some, interruption sometimes rather. Okay, but then again, those are facts. Those issues are facts, proven. All of us can say that, even myself as, a, as an uh, ed tech advocate. But then again, we should not focus on that. We'd rather focus on how can you supply an effective teaching learning regardless of the situation. And that's a big challenge. And a reminder also that we are teacher and our profession is what? Is what? Is a passion. Passion. Sana mamuhay sa mga puso natin yung passion pa rin. Okay po? And this is a uh, description of a good teacher coming from Steve Wheeler. So if you want to review his article, you go to his site, steve.wheeler.co.uk. All right, moving on. Pro tips na tayo. So nagbigay na tayo na pag-usapan natin ano yung mga issues na na-experience ninyo and you shared some of your solutions to the public and with me also. Tapos nabigay ko naman yung side ko, things that you have to remember or maybe remind yourself about. Ano po? And I hope that those messages help you to, ano, to uh, remind yourself that you are a teacher. Okay? And the challenges are facts, are proven. So what is next after that? 
So here are some pro tips towards innovation on how to hopefully help you provide uh, differentiated teaching still, no? Uh, regardless of the situation. Right now, since we are towards innovation, ito yung mga sumusunod na imigay ng blog that whosreading.org slash. If you want to visit the full descriptions, go ahead. Ang dami po doon na matututunan sa blog that whosreading.org. Okay? Ngayon, ito yung top 10 na kinuha ko mula doon sa kanyang blog. And I tried to short, make it, make it shorten or shorten it. Okay, number one, sabi niya, turn students into teachers with presentation tools. Malamang ginagawa natin ito. Pero ang madalas na observation ko, parang madalas, yes, may presentation tools. But who is presenting? Who is presenting? If it is you, then you might have to maybe check yung role mo. Ano bang role mo? Uh, are you on the stage on the stage or guide on the side ka? Okay? So, ano ibig sabihin nito? When I was teaching in college, ganito ginagawa ko. I gave my students instructions and then they they ano, they execute uh, uh their or they provided their ano, their tools, I uh, sorry, their skills rather through a presentation, ganyan ganyan and I judge them. After judging them, ang ginagawa ko, I gave feedback. I gave feedback to my students and corrections dun sa kung ano man yung kanilang learning. Diba meaningful po yan sa end ng bata natin? Why don't you try this time to be the, the, the guide on the side? Provide your students instructions um, and boost their, their confidence by giving them a chance to speak. You know, all of them to speak. You know? um, that way, through a meaningful learning, definitely your student will learn and will never forget the experience. Okay, I strongly believe that the experience of the students, uh, that is where the retention starts. Okay, so yun po, napansin ko lang. We do use presentation tools, but who is using the presentation tools? Okay, so kaya po sometimes naiisip natin na matrabaho. Kasi nga, nan, baka po nandun pa tayo sa unang role, yung dating role, na sage on the stage. Okay po? Number two, Encourage collaboration with different tools available on the internet. Okay? Towards innovation po ang pinag-uusapan natin, ano? So, maraming uh, collaboration o collaborative uh, tools na pwedeng gamitin ang mga bata po. Uh, lalo na sa internet. Ang dami mga applications dyan. Okay? Na pwede po nating ipagamit. Ano yung pinakamalapit sa puso ng bata ngayon? For collaborative uh, tools po. Ano ang, ang pwede nating magamit? Di ba yung mga Facebook Messenger nila? Tama po, gamit na gamit yan. Yung, yung mga panahon na to. Okay, naalala ko yung mga, ano, nag, nag, ano po kasi ako, nag-observe din ako sa Facebook sometimes. So, one of my observation, talaga namang sumasabog daw yung Google Classroom. But there are some other ways on how your students be, be, uh, collaborate with their, uh, with their, ano, co-students. Paano? Kung alam ninyo po yung, uh, uh, my, I think, uh, sorry, Google Classroom or sorry, the Google Documents. There, students can collaborate through the Google Documents because they can share the work, they can share a, a document, and anyone, depending on the privacy, no, nung iseset nung ako, sino man ang leader, ay mabibigyan ng pagkakataong ibahagi ang kanyang kaalaman. And a lot more, marami pa po. Okay. Number three, use learning games to engage students. Nabasa ko to kanina sa isa sa mga ano, sa isa sa mga, anong tawag dito? Sa isa sa mga comment. Okay, number four, allow your students to conduct a peer tutoring. Ay, napakaganda rin po nito. Okay, paano natin to gagawin ngayon yung allow your students to conduct a peer tutoring? Kung if you are very familiar of the Google Classroom, tapos minamax out nyo talaga yung gamit niya, lalo na if your G Suite is uh, is on premium, yung mga DepEd natin dyan, meron na ano doon, breakthrough room, na pwede nyo, nasa discussion, tapos pwede nyo silang pag-iwahiwalayin as group. Yan, sila sila mag-work sila. Tapos, pababalikin mo na lang doon sa main na room ninyo. And then, one one of the ano students from those group will present no or maybe you you uh, want to ano also to um motivate them to all of them present their work 
So that way, kasi we are giving our students some of the options where they can meaningfully learn from your topic. Ano pa? Uh, this, okay, so you can as well, uh, student made, uh, sorry, ask your student, uh, create a video tutorial. And you use that. I mean, you know, um, and provide students use differentiated project options, encourage passion-based learning, passion-based, ayan. So, alimbawa, ang, 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 sub, ang ano natin is sa math, sa, ano lang tayo, pang grade 1 ng example na bibigay ko. Kaya alimbawa sa math, ang uh, topic ninyo is addition with two, ano, with two digits. O yung passion ng bata, some of them may have passion on singing. O di sabihin mo, sige anak, you present the, ano, the solution into singing. Diba? So, that way, yung passion nila na-apply nila, baka magulat pa kayo, meron pa ng writer sa class ninyo. Diba? Or, kung basketball man yan, de, ipakita niya in a way na paano niyang uh, i-execute yung instructions mo through his passion in basketball. Diba? So, ganun po. Number eight, encourage sharing of ideas. Napakahalaga po nito. Okay? Again, dapat ang ating pong role ngayon ay sa guide on the side. Actually, guide on the side nga, konti na ng trabaho natin kung tutuusin sana sa pagtuturo itself, ha? please. Hindi ko dyan general, okay? Uh, sa pagtuturo itself, kung yun ang i-apply natin, konti na lang ang gagawin natin. No? Kasi more of student. Students are working and you are just evaluating, giving instructions. Ganun po. Okay? Make the assessment available or, you, or all year long. Oh, ito. Ano to? Depende to. <laughs> Siyempre, kung graded yan, patapusin mo muna yung exam. Patapusin mo muna yung exam ngayon. Then, saka mo i-open ulit to public yung mga questions na yan for them to, ano, to uh, have an enrichment by themselves. Number 10, provide personalized and automated follow-up activities. Napakaganda po nito. Uh, to which... Uh, Zishan Quizalize, that platform could help you a lot. Okay po? Alright. So, digital tools. Nabanggit ko nga po ito kanina, yung breakout rooms in Google Meet. Kung, kung kayo ay G Suite, uh, G Suite ano, um, user, uh, might as well you want to maximize the use of it. Napakaganda po. Actually, ito na, ano ko lang to, na-encounter ko to during my MAED class po, my master of class. In, uh, from one of my uh, good supervisors, uh, sorry, um, in, ano, ang tawag doon? Profe ano tawag doon? Professor, rather. Okay po? Diyan, uh, na-introduce niya yung breakout rooms nung bagong-bago pa lang at napakaganda. Uh, sinasabi ko napakaganda, it's because uh, that is the ano, fruit of the meaningful uh, experience I experienced through the breakout rooms. Ang ganda po niyan, itry niyo, i-max out niyo yung G Suite niyo. And this information is coming from the support.google.com. If you want to read more about the break uh, rooms in Google uh, Meet, go ahead and visit support.google.com. Now, easiest way to differentiation. Ito na po. Um, as I mentioned kanina, sabi natin, dapat hindi mawawala pa rin ang assessment and evaluation. Kasi assessment and evaluations are, are tools that we use in teaching and learning. What's the difference between the assessment and evaluation? May mga dati nang umatan dyan, huwag nyo nang sagutin. Ako na, <laughs> okay, baka manalo pa kayo. Wala na akong iyan. So, eh, ganun de, joke lang. So, assessment is uh, the student's instrument to give teachers feedback on whether they have learned or not from your topic. But at the same time, evaluation is a uh, teacher's tool naman. To give the students feedback, to judge, you know, you are judging the students' learning and you're giving them feedback through evaluation. Kaya hindi po ito talaga pwedeng mawala ang assessment and evaluation regardless of the situation. If we are talking about and dealing with teaching, this should not be removed. Ano po? Uh, one of uh, Miss uh, Taminson, I forgot the surname of the earlier uh, no, quote, ano? maganda rin may sinabi din siya. Kasi nga daw ang assessment is our way to modify fu uh, future instruction. So without assessment, we are blinded. Wala tayong uh, basihan. Ano? And data, and analytic data rather, is the most essential um, thing that we should have on our hand for us to 
understand the situation in teaching and learning. Now, today, I'll be focusing on the differentiation part of Zish and Quizalize. Okay, po? And hopefully, you find it very beneficial. Right? In a very easy way lang naman. Very easy way lang. Okay? So, kung napapansin ninyo, noong kayo po ay nag-register, we ask you to we ask you to ano, we ask you to sign up for free kay Quizalize. Tama po ba? Sino po ang mga nag-sign up po doon? Sino po yung mga nag-sign up doon? Magkano kayo mag-wave? Wave naman kayo diyan sa comment. Okay? Comment, mag-wave kayo. Sino yung mga nag-sign up? For free 'yon, walang bayad 'yon. Magsa-sign up ka. And with your free account, by the way, you can able to explore all of the features of Zishan Quizalize without limit. Wala. May limit ka lang sa number of classes and the uh, number of activities that you can use with uh, with your students. But if you are into learning what is really Quizalize and what is the benefits of Quizalize and Zish uh, in your profession, then you must want to max out that free, uh, ano, that free uh, version. By the way, you know, nabanggit ng team ko kanina that we have series of events. Iba-ibang events yon, madami. So regardless naman kung ikaw ay paid or non-paid with Quizalize, pwede ka pa rin sumali. However, syempre po, um, in, uh, to give thanks dun sa aming mga, sa mga nagtitiwala nag, uh, sa amin, ano, we, we, we have a big portion with regards to awards, ano, dun sa mga event na i-conduct namin. So if you are Paid subscriber, that's good. That is your advantage. If you are free, no worries. You can still enjoy our events for free. Walang bayad. Okay po? But uh, yun nga, medyo limited lang. Ayan, sumasagot na sila. Sila daw. Ah, that's good. Si Ma'am Adeline Luzon. We have premium. Oo. Ayan. Okay. Sige pa. Pag naka medyo 50% tayo. 50%. Mga kay 25% lang na nagsabi na sila ay nag-sign up. No? Um, Mag-move tayo doon sa ano. So I'll be showing you how quick and easy it is to use Zish and Quizalize for your differentiated instructions, particularly on assessment. Assessment po, ha? Particularly on assessment. Differentiated um activities you know, that you can easily give to your student. So I will give you three quick steps lang. Three quick steps lang yon. Okay? Ah, that's good. Oh, marami-rami na. Marami-rami. Okay. So, yung mga nag-sign up and interesado na explore si, uh, si Quiza, let's do it later. I want you to focus on the screen. Okay? Focus muna kayo dito. Okay? Kasi maganda na alam nyo siya. Alam nyo yung mga parts na ito. Alright? So, we only have... Oh, don't forget pala po ah, ang uh, raffle draw. Magkakaroon tayo ng raffle draw. We will be getting 10 people will be receiving 200 pesos. Sampu yun ang pipiliin namin. Paano nyo malalaman? I-email namin kayo. Ano yung mga requirements? Yun nga, dapat officially registered ka. Dapat shinare mo itong tama ba ako, Ms. Marites? Please remind me kung tama ako or interrupt me kung mali. Uh, dapat shinare mo to. Yes, Dahil sure. papag-screenshot namin yan. Dapat nakapublic. Pag sinabi po namin nakapublic, hindi lang friends nyo nakakita because nga, sharing is very hey. good. Very good. Hey. Diba? Oo. Oh. Alright. Sige, tandaan nyo po yan na. Mamaya, i-remind ulit kayo ni Ms. Marites. Okay, thank you, Ms. Marites. Uh, let me continue sharing my screen. Ayan. Ay, na-stop ko yung sharing. Ayan, daming kumakaway. Sila daw. Sila daw ay nag-sign up. Oo, kailangan. Kasi yun ay requirement. Otherwise, ang iyong registration ay invalid. Baka hindi ka rin makatanggap ng feedback form. O yung pag-share nitong uh, webinar session, yung information, no? Ni-remind namin kayo na dapat tama yung ginawa. Dapat public setting. Pag hindi po tama yan, hindi kayo makaka-receive na ng ano ng feedback form. Kaya may chance pa kayong ayusin yan ha. You can edit your responses. Go to the Google form, edit your uh, responses. Kasi may mga nakikita agad namin yan eh kasi ni yung kuwar, for example, na share niyo yung post. Tapos ay uh, chinek namin yun. Tapos makikita namin, hindi namin agad maa-access. 
Okay? Ngayon, yung mga gagawin natin ganun, uh, usually yun ang ipapagawa namin sa inyo for the raffle draw. Kagaya nito live session. Dapat na-share niya with that proper hashtags. Bakit proper hashtags? Kasi ang gagawin namin dyan, ikiklik lang namin yung hashtag na yun. Tapos kung sino man yung mga naggawa ng tama na yun, kita na agad namin. Eh kung naka-friend ka lang or naka-only me ka lang, doon hindi namin makikita yun. Okay po, hindi ka mabibilang sa raffle draw. Okay? Alright, so madali lang naman po ang ipapakita ko sa inyo. And again, I hope na matutunan ninyo po ito or um, matuto kayo sa session na ito para na rin hopefully makatulong ito no for you to easily design your assessment. And by the way, Zishin Quizalize offered offline and online. So kung modular ka, no problem. We have offline solution for you. And we will not discuss it today though. If you have any questions for that, then uh, reach out to us via chat support. We will provide you the rest of the information. Going back, Okay, sorry, nagani yung aking bosses. <laughs> Going back, madali na naman puntahan. You, do you have to download anything? No. Kailangan mo lang, you have an active browser. Same with the student. Wala pong kailangan i-download. Okay po? Punta lang kay quizalize.com. Sa so student, may iba silang mga ways on how to be able to access their class and uh, activities. Kung mapapansin niyo yung mga last time na nag-login dyan, Iba na po ang interface ngayon ni, ano, ni Quizalize. Marami ng bago. So, try nyo buksan niya, no? Uh, in the very near future, baka kasi magulat kayo. So, click natin ng teacher login. Ayan, o, oh, ba Bago na siya. Bakit naging bago? Pinadali na nga po, actually. No? Pinaunti yung nandito sa taas. At uh, ginawang specific. For example, resources, we are talking about content. My library, yan yung kung saan mo na idadala yung mga ginawa mo, ginrab mo, minodify, etc. Create, create if you wish to create your own activity, personalized activity. Ngayon, oh, obviously, my classes, pag pumunta ka dyan, class mo yan. Yan yung mga recorded classes mo. Ngayon, pag binuksan mo, for example, eto, dark test, paper, uh, test pen na a class ko, ayan o, oh, Diyan na, nakapalob na dyan. Parang isang bukas ka lang, nandun na yung mastery, nandun na yung gradebook for that class, ayan, and the members na rin, yung sudyante mo, nandyan na rin. Diba? Sinimplify. Alright, so let's proceed to the topic. Of course, kailangan mo muna mag-design ng assessment mo. Okay, bago, bago mo uh, magamit, syempre, yung differentiation, or bago ka makapag- uh, Bigay ng differentiation part. Excuse me. Okay, I see. Okay, so paano mag-design? It's very simple. Kung bago ka kay Quizalize, walang problema. Left to right ka. Alamin mo yung mga functions left to right. So, create ka. Ito, punta ka lang dito sa create. Kung bago ka lang kay Quizalize, o ba? bago na rin yung interface niya. No? Sinimplify po para mas madali yung ma mahanap yung hinahanap nyo. Okay, obviously, when you go to create, that means to say that you are about to create or design your assessment, personalized assessment. And if you see, if you if you can see from here, you can upload your PDF uh, materials. Yun nga, yung gagamitin natin mamaya for intervention. Pwede YouTube, pwede namang article from the internet. Okay, now, you have to create an assessment because this increase is what? Assessment tool. Are we LMS? We are not LMS, but you can pair Session Quizalize with your existing LMS. Okay, we are not LMS, we are assessment tool. Okay, so if you wish to create your new quiz, then go and click this create new quiz. Diba madali lang unawain, no? Because the button, the name of the buttons already tell you na yun yung gagawin mo. So hindi ka malilito. Uh, paano sinabi ko hindi ka malilito? For example, sabi dito, quiz title, tapos may guhit. Obviously, dapat dyan mo ilagay yung title. For example, sample activity. Yan. O, lagay mo yung title to dyan. If you wish to upload the logo of your school, go ahead or any picture if you wish. Just simply click this tab here next to the title and look for that picture. Sige, lagay ko picture ko. <laughs> Okay, paumanhin. All right, so one of the I know one of the key powerful features of Zushin Quiz is that you can able to right away align your assessment to curriculum skills and competencies. Paano? It's very simple. 
sa ilalim ng activity title mo, click mo lang itong tab na to. Click mo. Please po yung gagamit po nito, ng Philippine, may mga Philippine curriculum dito, may old and milk. Please po paki-explore nyo ng mabuti kasi baka maligaw kayo or baka maisip nyo na wala namang skills and competencies para sa specific ano na to. So try to explore muna lahat ng mga may milk. That means that these are the available skills and competencies for the milk uh, curriculum. Kung gusto mo naman gamitin ng old, yung walang milk na ano na option, okay? So, best example ng sinasabi ko, applied subjects. Tapos nakahiwalay yung core dyan. Okay? So, this time, I will be choosing the Philippine curriculum K-10 to MELT. As you can see, nag-load dito yung another option to select the subject. Go ahead and click the subject. This is my major. So, piliin ko siya. And select the grade level of uh, the students you're teaching. Select mo siya. Grade 1 na lang yung naalala ko sa araling panlipunan. Excuse me for that. <laughs> and then after that, just click on the Submit tab. What happens next is this one. As you can see, no? Ayan. Sinabi niya sa'yo kung saan mo inaalain yung activity na ginawa mo. Now, if you wish to change that, no worries. Click mo lang yung X. At babalik ka sa Align to Standard. Okay? And then again, choose ka. Click mo Submit. All right, once it's done, then you are ready to create your question. Tama ba? Click the Add a New Question tab. O, di ba? Pangalan ng tab, yun na yung action na gagawin mo. So, hindi ka po malilito. Okay? Again, yung, yung reminders na binigay ko po, no? Huwag mo agad isipin na, Teka na, malilito ako dyan kasi I'm not techy. Okay? But if you will be focusing on the words that you can see on the screen, you will not get lost. Ano po? So, um, all right, moving on. Pag nagbukas ka ng add new, class, add new questions, these are the usual thing that you will encounter whenever you click the add new question. Ulitin ko, kada item na gagawin mo, nag-click ka ng add new question, ganito lagi yung itsura na may experience mo. So you can explore these tabs here. I'm not going to further elaborate ano, these options here. No, Just to let you know that this is how it looks like. So the question, uh, dito yung sa question na part, dito mo ilalagay yung direction, kasama na rin yung question or yung question itself. For example, and as you can see, oh, actually pinadali na rin po siya. Dati kasi it's hard, it's very difficult to just bold the, the word or underline. Or sa mga math teachers dyan to create ano, with formulas. Ngayon pinadali na. When you click on this, ayan yung option. So napakadaling mag-create ng equations na ngayon. Unlike before, <laughs> kaya na po, dami pong changes talaga ni Quizalize. For example, the question is, what is the name of the speaker? For example lang po ito, ah. So, if you are uh, creating a multiple type of question, you must no, complete the sections here. Write the correct answer and the incorrect answers below. So, for example, the correct answer is Rose Cecil. And the incorrect answer is, uh, incorrect answer is Fidel Ramos. For example lang po ito, ah. Uh, sino pa? Uh, Rodrigo. <laughs> Sorry po. <laughs> Rodrigo Duterte. O di kaya Charles Wiles. O yan. Meron ka na, nakagawa ka na ng uh, basic type of question, which is a multiple type of question. Ano po? Uh, you have to fill in the question part, the correct answer, and incorrect answer. Answer explanation is very recommendable if you're giving your student a what? Uh, review, enrichment, maganda yan. Kasi uh, sa settings nyo, pwede nyo kasing i-control na ipakita na yung correct answer and the explanation. In a way, uh, maganda ang may supporting details yung bata, why this correct answer, but it is optional. Now, sa ilalim, curriculum skills. Lalabas tong curriculum skill kung nag-align ka. Pag di ka nag-align dito, subtopic ang lalabas po dyan. I-click mo lang yung section na yan and look for the skills and competencies. Ayan. Click mo. Ayan. May one question ka na. So, hindi na po ako magbibigay ng another example. Again, basahin nyo lang yung tab at yun na mismo yung action na mangyayari. Kapag ka, or uh, yes, mangyayari after you click on the tab. Hindi ka po niya ililigaw. Um, again, delete ito. Ito naman copy the item. Ito naman edit kung gusto mong i-edit. Diba? Self-explanatory ang functions ng mga tab. Now, sa ilalim, may save to my library and save and give to class. Sa itaas, ganun din. 
Again, we highly recommend you to quality check your items first. Paano? Sa ilalim ng save and give to class, may student preview. Click mo yan and preview the question. Ayan. So, ayun ba, Rosie? So, tama. Okay. So, preview nyo para po ma-quality check nyo. Now, once that done, this is where the differentiation happens. Paano? When you click on the save and give to class, Ayan, actually, bago pala mag-differentiation, sorry, activity setting. Please po, ah, uh, visit the activity setting, review nyo lahat ng nandyan. Kasi uh, kung paano nyo isi-set ito, turn on, turn off lang naman po iyan. And ito, yung number of attempts, piliin nyo lang. Ganun na may experience ninyo sa bata. Mayroon tayong three class, assign as homework or assign as exam. Iba-iba ng function po yan, check nyo muna. Okay. Once you're happy with the setting, go ahead and click the buttons underneath or sa ilalim, sa bottom. Again, hindi kayo ililigaw ng tab. Kung gusto mong yung activity na ginawa mo, i-assign to multiple class in just a click or in just a few seconds, go ahead, click mo yan. And then tick mo yung mga class kung saan mo siya gustong i-assign. Otherwise, kung gusto mo sa isa lang, eh, i-click mo tong back. Ayan o, napansin nyo ba? Pag sabi yung back, eh, di ba, balik ka sa kanina. O, click the assign activity. And then after that, eto na po. This is where the differentiation happens when it comes to assessment. What will happen here kapag naset mo to ng tama is that students will be getting an initial assessment from you. And then after, after that, depending on their score, automatically they'll be able to receive your applied intervention. Pwede ka nang gumamit ng intervention dito and differentiated pa. Ano po? Paano? So, eto, we have three groups here, okay, of the students. Students will be getting less than 50%, students will be getting 50 to 80%, and students will be getting 80% or more. Yun naman talaga yung group of students natin sa class, di ba? May magaling may ko may medyo magaling at may napakagaling mas magaling pa sa iyo minsan <laughs> you know what i mean diba but that's a joke a teacher joke yon okay so paano yon is it simple yes very simple paano click mo to if you want to choose your own ayun naman no choose your own resources kung gusto mong gumamit ng sarili mong uh, uh, resources for for intervention or follow up activities o di naman kaya basahin lang natin or use the shared uh, available recommended follow up activities bakit recommended are they ano are they recommended by the societal group or yung uh, expert no so quizalize when you say recommended uh, these are the materials where around the world mataas yung usage okay please uh, that's a disclaimer ha huh? when we say recommended okay so you can explore those by clicking if you wish addition, another activity, go ahead and click this one. Or YouTube, or PDF, let me zoom it, sabi ni Inner Me, or the ano, web link. Then if you wish to use your own, click choose your choose your own. Ayan. Pag kinik mo yun, idedaracho ka niya sa My Library mo. Dito mo makikita yung mga activities na meron ka. Okay. So actually dito, pwede kang mag-upload uh, ng YouTube, ng videos. For example, may videos ka na dito kanina kasi, di ba? Nag-upload ka. So maaaring nandito na yan. Use the, alright, so dito, for example, eto, ABC song ni, ano, ni, ang pangalan nito, ni Dave and Eva. So i-click mo lang, after nyan, pwede mo ring i-align itong video na to, ah, sa curriculum standards kung gusto mo. Para align lahat ng materials mo, pwede. Click mo tong align to standard and go ahead and align it. Confirm mo lang kung para saan siya. ba? Or click this assign as follow-up activity and there you have it. Your uh, less than 50% students will be getting automatically this video if they get the score. Alright, to effectively use a differentiation, you must give a, the same, a similar activity like what they answered earlier. To effectively use the differentiation, eh, kaya nga siya tinawag na differentiation. Okay, make sure to tick this box here. And then, there you go. Meron ka ng initial activity, naglagay ka ng follow-up, and then after ng bata na tapusin yung follow-up niya, 
sasagutan niyo ulit yung questionnaire kanina. And from there, you will be able to figure out whether the intervention has what? Has helped your student or poison the case. So similar functions din dito sa group of students na to and dito rin. So ganong procedure lang po. And that is how easy it is to design an assessment ano, with session quiz allies and for you to still achieve the differentiation instruction or differentiated instructions even you are uh, away or apart from your student uh, kasi nga distance learning muna tayo okay once you're happy with all of this follow-up activities here go ahead and click the i'm done there you have it the activity is now ready for your student to answer the the question and as you can see oh zoom ko lang this is an example of the activity that's, that is not yet used. Wala pang icons. And ito na mga activities sa iba ba, may icons na kasi nagamit na siya. So how you would know from here kung may, may follow-up activities yan or wala? Ito, oh. So sa sample activity, meron daw isa. At yung sa isa namang activity ay wala. That's it. And how you can able to still access the analytic data po. I'm not going to further elaborate that. Um, click mo lang yung view activity dito, but this is where you can find the, ano, um, yung mga, ano, motivational dashboard for your students. Ayan, pwede mong ishare yan, synchronous, or uh, synchronous rather. Siyempre, mas effective siya, live game view, and the rest of the information. Madali lang naman matutunan kung ano yung makikita mo dito. Kailangan mo malaman kung sino may kailangan ng tulong mo, go ahead and click that. Oh, frequency of errors, nandito yan. And item, item analysis at marami pang iba na pwede mo siyang magamit. So, uh, these functions, um, we are covering uh, the, the enter details of those uh, dashboards and the rest of the dashboard transition quizalize sa mga exclusive sessions po namin. But today, we are just giving you uh, the highlight of what transition quizalize could give you to still achieve your differentiated instructions. And I hope from there, you learn po. All right? So, okay, let me go back to my presentation. And, all right. So, I hope you learned from, from that discussion earlier until the, uh, up to the, ano, na kayang ibigay ni Zishin Quizalize. And I hope you find it very interesting and helpful also for you to still be able to provide your student differentiated instructions. Now, let me invite you, no? Meron pa po tayong dalawa. Actually, tatlo pa to. Yung isa, hindi pa confirmed siya. But hopefully, soon, may confirmation na kami makuha. But learn with us more or learn more with us. On August 21, 2020, at 3 p.m., ganitong oras, with Charlene's TV tayo and Miss Charlene's Joy P. Ko. She will be sharing with you the clap technique. O oh, clap technique, yung ganon. <laughs> okay. Clap means classroom leverage to aim progress. Okay po? And on September 4, 2021 at 3 p.m., we will be with Mr. Ryan Lee Regencia. He is a Department of Education Schools Division of Marikina. No, siya ay ang currently ITO or Information Technology Officer 1 ng uh, DepEd Marikina. He will be sharing with us their division's experience with Zish and Quizalize. By the way, they are with us, ano, division-wide po sila. Uh, ginagamit nila sa Zish and Quizalize. They're, they're been very happy of what Quizalize and Zish could, could give them. So he will be sharing the advance or he will be sharing some uh, highlights of that experience and to advance your mobile management skills, magnifying the online-based instructions and launching of exit assessment. Again, each of these uh, sessions will be uh, the different, different ano po tayo, uh, registration, different feedback forms, ganyan. Kaya po, sinasabi ko na yung mga bagong dating, make sure that you are officially registered. Okay? And you have your Quizalize account active also for you to get, to receive, ano, a uh, free webinar like this. Pag sinabi namin free, wala talagang bayad and free certification. Wala rin bayad ng certification. Diba? Kami pa yung nag ano, sa inyo, nagbabayad. Uh, I mean, nagbibigay kami ng reward. Okay, to end this discussion, formally end the discussion, let me share with you another good inspirational quote coming from Sidney J. Harris. 
He said, the whole purpose of education is to turn mirrors into windows. So I hope etong kanyang inspirational quote will uh, leave a really good message ano po, from, from him. All right. So I think we have 10 more minutes. 10 more minutes, ano? 10 more minutes. Uh, open forum. Do we have questions? Ayan. May mga tanong po ba? Violent reactions? <laughs> Sige po. Did you learn something? Did you learn something today? <clears throat> Ayan, ako may mga nakikita akong mga angry, ano ah. May mga angry, ano dito. Bakit po? <laughs> Share niyo sa amin kung bakit kayo angry. Okay? All right, so please share. Is there any questions? Do you have any questions, uh, additional uh, learnings that you might want to leave? <clears throat> okay, so let me see. John Lawrence, sabi po ni John Lawrence, will the e ano to? evaluation link be provided to us through email? Yes. Kaya po dapat kayo po ay officially registered. Hindi namin ipopost sa public po yun. Exclusive yun para sa mga officially registered. <clears throat> and Ms. Maricar, please show naman the, ano, the registration link ulit. Yan. Did you learn something today? Please, could you leave us uh, one to five lang? One, one is not likely or uh, wala kayong natutunan. And five is uh, is the highest rating. Could you leave po uh, ano, uh, a feedback here? One to five lang? So you can you can share your ano, feedback here sa, sa comment section. One to five lang. Okay, so uh, Miss Marites, please could you remind everyone on how to win no, the raffle draw. Ang raffle draw natin, kukuha tayo ng sampo. Sampong masaswerteng magkakamit ng, magkano? 200 pesos. <laughs> okay, so sampo, ah, sampo ang pipiliin namin, Miss Marites. Miss Maricar, please could you remind our viewers on how to win on the raffle draw. By the way, ang uh, ating uh, raffle draw, laging gag may gagawin tayong palaging ganyan sa lahat ng ating mga sessions. And of course, I would like to invite everyone to join our events. No, basta follow and like nyo lang si, Z si ZQ. Hindi kayo mawawala kung ano man yung latest kay ZQ. Okay po? Ayan. Sige, Ms. Marites, pakiremind sila. Thank yes. you everyone and I hope again you learned something from today. And I hope to see you in our succeeding webinar sessions. Yan, thank you so much, Miss Rose. At para nga po sa reminder ng ating raffle na mananalo, syempre, 10 po ang aming pipiliin para sa raffle na mananalo ng 200 load or cash nga po ang aming ipamimigay. Syempre, number one po dyan, kailangan po ay officially registered po kayo. Number two is yung sa feedback form nga po na i-email namin sa inyo. So, kailangan po ay makapag-sagot din po kayo noon. Syempre po, sa number three ay kailangan din po na i-share ito po ito pong ating webinar today using our proper hashtag which is, ano nga Miss Maricar, ang hashtag ZQ Tip Talks. Siyempre, at yung isa pa, ang hashtag Tip Talks for Teachers Webinar Series. And siyempre po, kailangan po ang pag-share nyo ay nakapublic setting din para po uh, makita din namin agad. At kailangan din po ay mailagay nyo sa pag-share nyo kung ano nga ba ang best na natutunan nyo sa discussion natin today. Miss Maricar? Yes. yes, Miss Marita. So, Yung kanina po may nagtanong kung tama ba? Yeah, so, yeah, so may mga mayroon po sa atin dito yung uh, 4EV, tama ba? Yung navigation para yung phone. Uh, pwede po mag-book ng demo. Ayan, book ng demo exclusive for our yes. guys. Pwede nyo po, pwede nyo po approach si Miss Rose. Si Miss Rose. Si Miss Rose. Pwede nyo po yes. dyan. Um, gamitin po natin din yung ating mga chat support. You can approach din po. Yes. Uh, for those who are into learning the rest of the features of Zishan Quizalize and other benefits of it, uh, you can always uh, go to www.quizalize.com. Pumunta kayo doon sa kung saan kayo nakaka-receive ng pop-up message, mga automated message yun. Uh, you can reply uh, and say your interest. Normally, we provide exclusive 
uh, uh, navigation or walkthrough rather of Zishan Quizalize sa mga organizations that are into uh, using Zishan Quizalize. Yes, thank you po, Ms. Rose. Okay, so thank you po for this afternoon. Tama ba? Mayroon pa ba tayong mga... Na ito na, ito natin mga rate nila. So, additional learnings. Thank you po, ma'am. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much po sa lahat po. And then for the... Nabagi tayo po ni Ms. Rose kanina. Na next week, we have uh, another webinar uh, series po. Ayan, with Ma'am Florian. Tama ba, Ms. Marites? Yes, uh, at sa isang, uh, next Saturday po ulit, um, 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. ang ating next session, Learn the Club Technique po from Miss uh, Ma'am or Ma'am Charlene Joy. Ayan po ang next session natin sa Saturday. Yes, tama oh, dyan, Miss Ma'am. Mag-a-add lang po ako, dun po ah, sa raffle draw natin, uh, i-highlight ko lang ah, una, dapat kayo po ay officially registered. Ang registration link ay bukas pa rin naman po bukas. Para sa mga hindi nakapag-register before, ayan, pwede kayong mag-register pa rin bukas yan. Okay po. Pangalawa, para manalo ka dun sa ating raffle draw, ishare mo tong live na to with the proper hashtags plus kung ano yung natutun best mong natutunan or uh, na-realize or uh, anything. Basta yung nakatulong sa'yo no? to somehow help you face the challenge of the ano, new uh, normal in education. Okay? Dapat po nakapublic. Kasi pag di nakapublic yan, hindi namin makikita po yan. And we will be choosing 10 best answer. 10 best answer. At sa mga webinar nating mga susunod pa, ganito din po ang gagawin natin. Ayan. Thank you so much. The feedback form will be shared with do uh, to those uh, teachers or participants who are officially registered, please double check the email address. Kasi para po may iwasan natin yung mga unnecessary claims later. Okay po? Yes. Thank you, yes. Ms. Rose. You can edit your response po para uh, maayos nyo nga yung inyong email at yung mga other pong uh, mga sinagutan nyo sa ating Google form para po sa official registration and para po sa feedback form. Para po yes. makareceive kayo ng ating e-certificate. Yeah. Ayan. So, yun po, yung how to get e-certificate po, be sure po yun. Sabi ni ma'am, nagkatanong si ma'am how to get certificate po, be sure po, nasunod natin, na registered po kayo sa ating uh, official link po natin na registration. And then, nasunod po yung mga requirements, nandun po. Kaya, and then, the feedback form. So, magawa po natin yung mga dapat natin gawin. And then, ev ano po, per webinar series, per regis iba't iba pong registration po yun. So, for this day, yun po yung shinner natin, yun po yung ating registration link na dapat is na talaga ay naka-registered naka po tayo. And it also shared po yung registration link sa ating Facebook page. Kaya, uh, visit our Facebook page, like and follow po natin na ZQ at Tech Eats. Yan po. Yes. Ayan, thank you so much po sa inyong lahat for participating today. And see you all po ulit sa Saturday para sa ating next webinar session. I hope po na naka, uh, you learn from us. And sana nga po, ay, yan, uh, good luck po sa ating raffle. And please make sure lang po na nakapalo sa aming Facebook page for uh, sa aming pong mga events and uh, mga... Uh, susunod pa nga pong mga ongoing events na uh, in-explain din po namin kanina. Thank you so much po. Thank you so much po for sa lahat po ng mga viewers natin dyan sa Facebook and YouTube. Maraming salamat po. Not saying goodbye, but see you next week po tayo for yes. another tip talks po. Marami pa tayong mga tip talks for our teachers webinar series. Okay po. Maraming salamat po. Don't forget the hashtag tip talk for teachers webinar series. At yung ating po isang hashtag, hashtag yung ZQ. ZQ Tip Talk. Thank you so much po. Thank you so much po. Once again, I'm Mari Carla Dines. And, and I'm Marites. Yes, with Marites Gorospe. See you all next Saturday. Ingat po. Bye. Thank you so much po. Bye-bye. Lies the easy way to differentiate your teaching. With Quizalize, you can quiz your students on the skills and standards they need to know, using devices in classroom team games or at home, and analyse the results in a choice of clear use.
mastery of the academic skills and standards in your curriculum. The dashboard enables you to benchmark your students against state averages and helps you ensure that nobody gets left behind. Students' test scores have improved 8 to 10 points from last year's scores. This is the first time that we've seen an increase of this magnitude. It's opened up that, that conversation between myself and my students. My kids pay attention to the test questions so much more. I have kids that even come before school because they just want to practice with me. I can meet with them one-on-one -on -one, or I can meet with them in a small group and for the first time they're getting the attention that they really need and the data is there instantly. Play a quiz in class today. There are no apps to install. It's easy and it's free.